What's up, guys? We are back, part two on the Buick. Today, uh, we got Lou finishing up, uh, getting all the paint off of it. The rest of the way, we've got, uh, you can see he's got the big grinder out. Also, I'm working on the quarter panels, getting them cut down. Hopefully, um, well, he sent three quarter panels, but we don't quite need all of them. So we'll go uh, check that out and show you how we're gonna cut them down, make them fit and hopefully get some quarters on this thing soon. All right, guys, I already cut the other quarter down. I cut them on the exact same line. You can see now why I do that is I like to save all the factory metal that I can. I don't really want to cut out any more than I have to. So these panels are pretty close to the original. They're definitely far better than the rot and everything we've got here. But um, if you see up here, this is all good metal, absolutely clean, perfect, nothing wrong with it. So we're actually gonna splice this panel in um, right about here. And we'll throw a seam in here all the way to there. And then, um, yeah, it'll be somewhere approximately about where that line is. So even if we wanted to put the full section on up here, uh, those are, you know, it's pretty hard to find those full quarter panels for these, but and they're also salty, so far cheaper option, and our metal above this line is good anyway, so we're going to stick with this one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut this off real quick, cut this, and we'll be back. All right, guys, I went ahead and cut this again there, like I said, on the line, and um, we will have to cut a little bit more because, like I said, there's a lot of extra material. This front edge, there's about uh, two and a half, three inches here. Along with the bottom edge. And here, this don't, uh, this is not that big from the factory. So all this stuff will have to be cut down. You can see here also, but we will uh, cut off, you know, a little bit of it, but leave us, still leave us some extra. And then that way uh, we can put it up there and fit it. And when we put it on the car, we'll have an exact line, you know, where, where we need to cut up there. So that's what we're going to do. We'll be back in a few. All right, guys, I got all that extra stuff cut off so it fits uh, a lot better. I'll go ahead and set you up on the tripod real quick. And I'll let you see how I uh, fit these up here and uh, do it basically all by myself. I'll just set it up there, clamp it, and and show you how I, you know, get my marks and where I need to cut and stuff. Here we go. All right, pretty easy. Just slid it up on there, clamped it with two clamps there and there, and uh, needed to make sure, you know, basically that it's fitting the original contours here when I got it on you can see it does okay so then once you do that then I'll mark it right here with a black marker all the way down and then that'll give me a line so I know where my new quarter panel is going to be now I will not cut on that line I'll flange that line I'll cut about three-eighths of an inch less half an inch something like that and then I'll actually flange that line. So then when we put the panel up there, it's flush. You can see now it's not flush. It'll be flush and it'll give me a spot to weld. Very, very little body work this way. It's the way I like to do it. If you have another way, drop it in the comments. We like to hear other ways too. You can see all that extra stuff I cut off isn't needed. This is all good material, no rot, so. We will uh, go ahead and make this mark, and then I'll go ahead and start cutting on this quarter panel and try to get this old one off today if I can. All right, guys, I went ahead and made that cut off camera real quick. I made this one, and that's just giving me plenty of room. And uh, I don't like to, since this is the factory uh, contour here, 
I try to stay away from cutting into those, like where this panel butts up here and all that stuff shuts. So I try to make my cuts and welds on the outside here in the flat. So that way there, when I go to put this cone back on, there's not gonna be any discrepancies in how that fits. This is all still good metal, no sense in changing it. We'll put our new seam in, so you know, somewhere here. Uh, this, obviously, I cut it out way big. There's still a lot more to cut out down here. But I uh, sliced it all the way around. And down here, again, when I'm before I weld on my panel, I'm going to be cutting out a lot more. This will be cut out around the front here because our new panel will uh, we'll have to actually uh, make it fit the door a little bit better because uh, it doesn't fit well right now. But um, one more slice across the bottom here just slightly above the line where it goes and then this panel should just drop on off. All right, after I rough cut it like that, then I'll take my uh, air hammer and then you can usually separate it just like so. matters anyway because we're gonna be changing this outer wheelhouse but it is nice to have this out of the way so I can fit this quarter panel better and get it ready for the outer wheelhouse it's not here yet just like that and it'll peel away boys nice and easy it's so much easier than fighting it cutting it just knock it with the air hammer and away it goes I'll do the same thing down here it's uh you guys can see that a little rough we'll blow through that and see what happens Peel it away from the trunk. This is the trunk drop-off panel here. So we'll just keep peeling it away from that. We don't want to damage that. We can see it's already got a little rot there, but we'll cut that out and make him a nice little patch for that since that's the only rod on it. Make a bottom lip to reattach this quarter to instead of replacing the whole drop-off. I'll just keep doing that, and then once I get this all chiseled away, then I'll be ready to go ahead and get on this outer wheelhouse. We'll get it out of there, and we should be able to fit our panel a little bit better and nicer. Let's see where we got to start welding it up. All right, I got this panel up there. It's just clamped on. Uh, it's going to be a few more days on the wheelhouses, so we figure we'll go ahead and just get it perfectly ready and then go ahead and start cutting on the other side. But, you know, I still got to back, you know, flange all these, so... This is not how the panel is going to set, but you can see that it pretty much lines up exactly with the old lines down here as well. Not going to be any issues. Everything's going to be fit nice. You can see these gaps here. We'll actually be able to clean this up a little bit with metal now. Instead of having to use filler to uh, flush out and do these door jams, so we like a real, we like a perfect jam the best we can all the way around on these. It just looks so much better when they're done if you take you know take your time and focus on all the little things like that. When the finished product just looks so much better. So this right here will keep us from using a lot of filler. We'll go ahead and. You know, once it's on there, it's obviously not 100% cut to fit right, as you can tell here. But um, <clears throat> So I'll go ahead, since I don't have the other wheelhouse, I'll just leave this right here. Because we can't really do much else till we weld the other wheelhouse in. And then we can fit this panel. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get on the other side. 
probably won't film that since I filmed this one. I'll go ahead and cut it out real quick and get the uh, get it ready for the exact same thing as this here. And then hopefully the wheelhouses will be here tomorrow or maybe the next day. All right, little break from the quarter stuff. I grabbed the uh, fenders. I've got Lou on the hood. We found a little yucky on the hood. You can see that's, they had that plum packed full of Duraglass and then filler. Never even knew that was there. But uh, I'm just over here stripping this. I got 40 grit on the big grinder. And uh, I'll just strip this paint off. And then I'll strip everything off. This thing's loaded with filler here. But we knew that. We seen the back side. It had all them holes in it where it looked like it had been hit. But now that the fender's off, we can get all this out and try to straighten a lot of it by hand. Minimize the filler here. But um, I'm just going to keep grinding. It won't take long with this thing. It, it really eats it off. Then after you hit it with this, you got to go back over it with 80 grit before you can do anything with it or it'll look terrible. But I'm going to keep grinding on it and we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, guys, as I was sanding along here, I just kind of want to show you I'm on the second fender now, but just the benefit of epoxy like this stuff, you know, this fender looked great. You can see how shiny and nice it is as I'm getting over, you know, just stripping the rest of it. The epoxy on this car, I don't know what they use, but it was pretty good stuff because underneath a lot of spots. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's full blown rust. They didn't, I think probably all they did was 80 grit it and then shot that epoxy on it and left it. And there's also, I'll show you even a couple more spots. The roof was the same way. You can see all the rust they left. And they just epoxied over it and then shot their paint and uh, you didn't see it. You did not see any of this. I don't know how long this paint job was on there, but um, so they did right, you know, on that part because you could not see all that. It had not come back through. And 99% of the time, that stuff will come back through pretty quickly. So benefit of epoxy there. Um, I'm just going to keep sanding. I've almost got this one about stripped, but just wanted to show you that, you guys that. All right, guys, we're at a standstill on that other stuff. So we can go ahead and start yanking out this panel or getting everything to yank it out. So got this nifty 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 tool here it's a uh, an oscillating uh, urethane windshield remover it cuts this uh, rubber really 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 well really fast it just oscillates real fast on the, with a sharp blade so we've already cut across the bottom and lose cut across here he's gonna go ahead and finish up and show you guys kind of how it works real quick you got to finish cutting across the top and then we'll do that other side and then it should just be ready to lift out. if he starts moving it be out in just a jiffy all right guys bad news little money this sucks it sometimes it happens but uh, we made it all the way around and got right here and uh, this window is actually a little bit off center there's a lot a lot more gap over there on that side a little bit less over here so when I was trying to round this corner here I thought it would fit to go ahead and cut and it caught the glass. So we actually uh, are gonna have to buy him a glass, but that's all right. Sometimes that happens. You know, we don't get to show these uh, type of mishaps very often, but you can kind of tell about how, what I was talking about, just how narrow that is there. And how much wider and more room you got over here. You got almost a, you know, quite a bit more room. So we didn't have no trouble here, but yep stuff happens we'll just keep moving and get it out all right guys we're back uh 
stepped away from the cow panel a little bit to get back on these fenders, try to knock something out this week. But uh, I went ahead and I'll show you guys what I got. We got these patch panels that came. They look about like this when we got them. And I always try to use as much as the original panel as possible. I think I've said that quite a bit. Uh, sometimes it's just not possible though. You know, it's, there's a lot of crap on these old things and you have to use it all. But in this case, we shortened it up a little bit. So this can go somewhere up on there about like that. And I've got it marked. And then of course it didn't come big enough. You see, it's a little shy over here and that's the case sometimes. So we'll actually just made a line here and I'll cut that off and then we'll cut that same shape here in this and we'll actually just weld it back there because all this is still good shape it's all good metal there um yeah I, I think it's about all I oh the back panel here you can see these pretty neat there's a company out there making these but uh it fits in the back here just perfectly so we'll get to that here in a little bit first you got to cut the front away and then I can get back here and see because I'm obviously not going to need all that big chunk either. Should be able to take it somewhere in here, right about in there somewhere. So, we'll go ahead and get to cutting on this and we'll uh, be back. All right, once the panels fit uh, and you've, you know, you know, you got it where you want it, go ahead and cut it. You guys see I cut it there, pull that away, just like a major surgery. There it is. We're performing surgery on this bad boy. Well, there's the old patch. You can see somebody did, you know, maybe this they did this to the best of their ability, you know. You know, I don't know. I don't know the case, but not quite how I would have left it. But we'll do it right. I'll go ahead and now that that's cut out, and I know pretty much everything else here is just the inner structure. I'll go ahead and do the same thing with it. I'll put it up there. Get it where I need it. Cut it where I think I should cut it, which like I said was somewhere in here. Because that's past all the rust. You see that's just surface rust. That's all good metal. Down in here is all rot. So we'll cut it up in here somewhere where it's still good. And then splice that right on in, just like a brand new one. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, I went ahead and cut that spot weld there just to free that up. Everything else is pretty much free. I cut this panel down here, same way I did the other one. And that'll go something like that. So all I'm going to do is cut that across there. And then we'll be ready to clean this stuff up and reattach this one. All right, guys, I went ahead and tacked in after I cut this other piece. You can kind of see I used this as my guide here. And uh, I also, before I got it tacked, I used this piece, made sure it all fit back together just like a puzzle this old piece so when it's all together it actually looks exactly how it's supposed to be with that there so now I know I can move on and cut my other piece down to the size of this piece here that I took off minus I'm gonna let leave this extra and this extra and I could trim that and tuck it when it's on there but this front edge here I marked I'm gonna cut that out and then that'll lay right here perfectly. So then the then I'll just have to tuck it and weld it up underneath and then on the sides with spot welds. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I've got this all ground, prepped, ready. I went ahead and scotch brighted it all so that uh, we can you put some primer on it. For our primer before we weld, uh, I like to use self-etch weld-through primer. Uh, that way it doesn't affect our welds. 
but it's also protected. And then when we're done, we can go back on the inside and do what we need to do to protect it also. But at least everything that's hidden that you can't see or you can't get to has got some protection on it. It's not just bare through metal. All right, guys, I got both of these sprayed. This one's ready to put on there. And like I said before, this goes back just like a puzzle piece. Put that up there. We'll get it lined up exactly where we need it. And then we'll weld it just like that. We'll make sure I tack it good and tack it good on the ends before I do any forming. Make sure I get it in place and weld it where it needs to be before I start tapping it. And then I'll start tapping it with a hammer where it needs to go and weld it all up. All right, I got that patch all on there. Uh, you guys can see kind of how it went. Turned out really nice. It looks exactly like factory. I got a little, couple little spots to fill in with the weld today when I get the welder out and start working on the other one. I'll come back and hit a couple spots on this. Fill in just a little more. Uh, I went ahead and I did have a little bit of warping. You all, you almost always do have some. So I went ahead and hammered and dollied that back down the best I could. So it's now it's all nice and flat. It feels exactly the same from top to bottom. So um, this right here, if you're wondering that mark, that's just where the rocker is on the car. I pre or I fitted this on the car and made sure it's uh, you know this patch lines up good and bolts good and it does so. Um, I'll go ahead and keep cracking on this. I'll get all the rest of these welded up. You guys probably don't want to see all that, but after watching the other one of me putting that on. And then I'll go ahead and do the exact same process on this other fender. Um, you can see they did same stuff, just a kind of a bad patch, not a lot of weld. Uh, they used galvanized metal. So, uh, yeah, not the best. But this fender is not quite as beat up though. Not quite. A little bit of hammer and dolly work, but not much. So that's what we're going to be working on today. And hopefully we'll have this set done and maybe get back on that windshield by the end of the day. Or the uh, cow panel, I mean. All right, I went ahead and did a little bit more on this real quick. So you guys can see, I filled this piece here. The panel they sent didn't cover that so I made a piece also same thing on this side just made a corner filled in all these holes all the badge holes still got just a tiny bit of grinding to do same thing over here but I'll do that with uh, probably 80 grit the rest of it just run over it and smooth it on out and then we'll be ready for some epoxy primer and then a little bit of filler and this bad boy will be ready. Let's finish working on the other one. Just a little bit more to do on it. Finish the holes and a little bit more beating on that other one. It's uh, got a little bit out of place. See, this thing's pretty straight now. No filler yet. Got nice straight panels. That's what we're hoping for restore them back to as original as we can with the least amount of filler as possible <laughs> all right let's finish these up and then we'll be back hopefully soon to finish up the uh cow panel all right guys i lied that is going to wrap up this video we will get into the cow panel and the installation of the quarter panel in part three so part two we uh, to recap, we did the uh, fenders. We basically refabbed the entire fender on both sides. Uh, they were both pretty whack, as you guys could tell. Um, we also 
cut off and showed you guys how to, you know, we remove quarters and, you know, how we get to the point to where we can cut them off and weld new ones on. So, um, yeah, if you guys like what you see or if you're learning anything, make sure you hit that like, share, subscribe button. Um, if you like watching these old cars come back to life, make sure you smash that subscribe button, that like button, hit the notification bell while you're there. I appreciate everybody that's watching, and uh, you know, we'll see you again in part three.